Yeah, they see toilets. Among. Yeah, they see toilets. In all, you yeah, see eight unit toilets, four eight unit toilets, and thirty two toilets in all. You, you, they take your eyes. <laughs> This government, they put delivery tracker, tra tra so, so toilet, 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 toilet. Toilet, the district assembly, them way. Why uh, national government? You, you tell people what you do, then toilet. toilet the we are going to elect a new president in 2024. In December 2024. And when I say a new president, I mean a new president. Not a second hand president. I mean a new president. We are going to elect a president that will take us into the future. Not a president that will take us back into the past. We are looking forward. We are not going backward. We want a president who thinks about possibilities, not impossibilities. We want the Ghana to be a beacon for all African countries, for all the world to see what can be done with possibilities. Former President Mahama is a former president. Let us maintain him as a former president. At the same time, we don't want a situation where our children come home and stay home for four months before they go back to school. And so we're going to improve the free SHS. We're going to sit with the teachers and the parents and all the stakeholders and together we will forge an implementation plan that will make the free SHS better. We are going to improve health care. And in our 2020 manifesto, we talked about the introduction of primary health care. When the manifesto is put out, you will see the provisions that are there for primary health care. We are going to uncap the NHIS. Currently, this government has capped the NHIS and is taking some of the NHIS money into the consolidated fund. And that is why when you go with your NHIS card, the hospitals are, uh, are reluctant to serve you because they don't refund the claims that they make. So we'll uncap the NHIS so that when you go, you can get good, affordable treatment at our health facilities. Yes. Mobile phones, Obian Sabeka smart mobile phone. And again, digital. You got digital. This is Obian Sabeka mobile phone. And you may say mobile phone, no, no more a buffer. No more a buffer. Mobile phone, no more a buffer. And you. Import duty on mobile phones will be abolished. Zero import duty on mobile phones. We will make access to mobile phones affordable. And the 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 mobile companies no, the bedding catcher in the table. Now the the mobile phones no, I'm a nipper. That man for the ah, what we ah, one CD, two CD, one CD, two CD. Kaka kaka kaka, now we try mobile phone no more. Ladies and gentlemen, we will continue to remove schools under trees. Professor Mill started that program, and we provided good school environment for uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of children. We're going to continue the removal of schools under trees and uh, uh, improve our basic education. For tertiary students, we're going to take a part of your university land. We will sit with your universities, they'll carve out a portion of your land. And we're going to work with the private sector to build student hostels so that you will live on campus and not live elsewhere and suffer the danger 
of traveling to and from home to school. We want our tertiary students to live on campus so that they can stay on campus and learn. There are several instances where students leaving the university and going for accommodation outside the university have either been knocked down by vehicles, attacked by armed robbers, or have found themselves in danger. There are many, many things that we intend to do, but let me just address, finally, our party. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an election like no other. And if you say you are NDC, then you better get prepared. Everybody is going to volunteer. We're not going to sleep for 48 hours until all the ballots have been counted. Nana Ushia Ghana Ya ye jumano Bibri but ye nye ye a bi bibri wahua jise ye ye nyame ya dum ena bibi ye umam pinye ya nyema bibri wahua misume pesemi ye mik mede kaho nem puntu no eba the edama kumano supani ye railway system wa Ghana Ushe maimbia, real, a very important piece of infrastructure. Maimbi na ebit tumpo ano, railway, ye very important. But ushe Ghana ha, ye wo mineral deposits bibri, eda ho gold wo ho, bauxite wo ho, iron ore wo ho, lithium wo ho, bibri. But ye be exploitis a mineral resources noa, really nihua. Untimi mfa trucks and fasa minerals see all the time. And in ti, many countries say timia ye real no. Nyamia dom na misube tina hoa. Akoni ya kese no suwa. Misume fa kwain. Sedi ye other countries say ye no. Yesu yebe fa kwain. Ama private sector. Aba abe kaya ho. Na ya ye real way no. E wogana ha. E nuna yebe buwa ye. Minimse ya ye buwa nkra port. Yeah, 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 so. But real ni ni hua, uh, ni benefit no emba so mbae. In the railway development, ebe one of the key policies are me pese me I want to thank the organizers for this good choreography. I also want to thank our traditional leaders who came here to represent the Yana. May God bless you for coming to join us. I want to thank everybody who took time to come here. May God take all of us safely back home. Once we launch this campaign, we are not going to sit. We are going to go from market to market. We are going to go from uh, trotro station to trotro station. We are going to go from house to house. We are going to go from shop to shop. Don't wait till the campaign teams come before you come and follow our convoy. Even when we are not there, you must be working. And so on this occasion, we want you all to go home safely. On this occasion, as the leader and flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress, I declare the campaign, NDC campaign, for 2024 election duly launched. Thank you very much. Akwenami. Hey! It is possible. When I decided to contest for the flag bearership of the new patriotic party, many people said it will not happen. They said it was not possible. They said the MPP will not elect a northerner to be the leader. But I told them that if God says it is possible, it will be possible. So, I went for the contest, and by the grace of God, I am the leader of the MPP. You will recall, some time ago, former President Mahama said that if the MPP wants the North to vote for them, 
they should elect Dr. Mahamudu Baroumia. So, today, the NPP has elected Dr. Baroumia. So, the North, there is now time to vote for Dr. Mahamudu Baroumia.